We're here on the farm of Pat and Sean Kelly of Kilruan Nina, County Tipperary, at a breeding event. And at the event, one of the topics I discussed today was about bull selection and some of the targets that we're looking for. And for me, the targets that you should aim for in your bull team are very straightforward. Number one, it's about EBI. We've set a threshold there for an EBI minimum of around 200 euro in the bulls that you select and a team average of at least 270 euro. Within that then, the most important figure is the fertility sub-index, as far as I'm concerned, because days in milk means milk in the tank and profit for the farmer. So we have a target there for bulls of a minimum of 80 euro and a team average of 120 euro for fertility sub-index. In terms of milk sub-index, we need cows to milk. So this herd, sorry, the team of bulls we're dealing with has a minimum of 50 euro for milk sub-index and a target average of around 80 euro. And finally, I looked at health sub-index with a team average of five euro for health and a minimum or threshold figure of around zero for the bulls. And this is to make sure that the cows that last longer in the herd uh, are more healthy for longer, particularly for traits such as mastitis and also for lameness. The second factor to consider when talking about uh, breeding the next generation of heifers has to do with cow selection. So while it's called bull selection, we're actually focusing here on the cows. And on the Kelly farm, we've printed off the lifetime milk recording report. And we can see even in a top performing herd, such as the Kellys here, there's big variation in the cows within the herd. So when we're selecting cows for breeding, we look at EBI of the cows, we look at month of calving, because we want early cows and high EBI animals to breed the next generation from, but we also look at the performance of the animals. And typically the earlier calving and higher EBI stock will be among the top 20%. So this report here shows the variation within the Kelly herd of 120 cows on milk per, lifetime milk performance. So the top 20% of cows are delivering over two euro more in profit per day from the time the first cow, or from the time the cow first calved on their farm. Over 1,500 days in the herd, that's worth about 3,000 euro in additional profit between the top and bottom performing cows within the herd. So the message is clear. When selecting among the cows, look for earlier calving and high EBI cows to breed from, and use the lifetime milk recording report to pick your most profitable cows to breed the next generation of heifers.